All right, it says we're live now. So, all right, guys, real quick, this uh, for the recording here, this is Danny Stock, my good friend. I've known him for a couple of years, and he has uh, just got a really cool way to do rotor arbitrage and to make it a long-term sustainable business. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to hear myself. <laughs> so we're just excited to have it. So Danny, thanks for being on here um, and sharing this with my audience. I'll, I'll let you take it from here. Hey guys, well, welcome to uh, appreciate you being here. Uh, listen to what I have to say. Um, yes, I do. I'm known for retail arbitrage, but as you'll see, this is more than just about arbitrage. This is so much more because I really think of, a strong e-commerce business is built um, one piece at a time and arbitrage is just the beginning. So this is kind of a stepping stone into many other things. I, I don't do um, just arbitrage, you know, online retail, I do uh, wholesale, private label exclusives, um, Shopify, all that stuff. I believe in the all in approach. And I stress arbitrage because, uh, and you'll see why, as I think it, provides a good foundation of knowledge and uh, how selling online really works, you know, and uh, what sells more importantly. So to so go through here, as Ryan said, you know, I've been selling on Amazon online for a very long time, since 2001. I started selling on eBay uh, back when I was um, in high school. And uh, even, even when I was on deployment in Iraq, I was uh, selling on eBay. So, uh, you know, I just kind of, I've always enjoyed it. I always had a passion for it and always believed in time. Time is a precious commodity. You cannot get it back. Um, everything I do is uh, with that mind. And I don't like spending a lot of time trying to, uh, you know, meet whatever goals it is. I like to find time hacks and, mm -hmm. and uh, ways to, uh, you know, still ma maintain the same profit level regardless of the sales level. But uh, let's get started here. Um, the... If you guys have questions, there's a Q&A uh, button at the top left of your screen. There's a chat and a Q&A. If you could post questions in the Q&A, it would be helpful. We don't want uh, the questions to get buried in the chat box. Exactly. Yeah. So quick overview. Um, you know, why are you here and what do you want? Um, some some of you are here for a number of different reasons. Maybe you're just curious. Maybe you're maybe you're struggling. Uh, maybe you're looking for a new way. I believe it's one of those things. And it's kind of, kind of neat to think about how did you end up here, and uh, how did I end up here? How did Ryan end up here? If you think about that, it's pretty it's pretty interesting stories how we all get connected and uh, how our paths all cross at some point. And hopefully, this uh, our paths crossing here at this time tonight. Um, maybe you could turn over a new leaf for you and your business. Uh, I know it has for a lot of people in the past. Let's see. Hold on a second. This, there we go. Okay. So you, many of you might be tired of wasting your money and time. Obviously a lot of you are concerned with, you know, the race to the bottom on retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, wholesale, you name it, even private label, there's races to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Trust me, there are. Uh, you get into what you thought was a great niche on private label and you, mm -hmm. you realize everyone else figured it out and uh, it starts a race to the bottom. I know several people have been in that situation. You're all trying to reach some sort of goal, I hope. Um, so, you know, it's nice to have a sense of purpose. Um, you gotta have some something that drives you every day. And so you need to think about what is that? Do you want to bring a family member home? Do you want to come home from your job? Um, do you want to take care of a loved one? Do you have a lot of debt? Uh, I know my personal situation is we were just buried in debt. Um, my wife lost her job. We had just bought a house too. House poor. Problem is the house needed to be renovated because a repossessed house. So we had that debt we had to incur. Plus we had medical bills. Both of my daughters were born premature. And as you can imagine, the uh, medical bills associated with that are astronomical, especially when they spend, you know, uh, between the two of them, they spent four months in the hospital. So 
It's a long time. That's why they work in your business to pay that off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, arbitrage, at least the way I do it, and maybe this is, maybe this is the case for you. Maybe it's not. You gotta, it, it is high hourly. You learn how to do operate Amazon. Not only that, you learn how to operate within eBay and many other selling platforms, uh, Facebook marketplace. You can really jumpstart your private label. I'll say this, I've said this in the past, but I think strong retail arbitragers do make the best private labelers because you know what sells, yep. especially if you're keeping track of what sells, what has sold. Hey, this, this is a really unique item. I've bundled it. I've created listings. I have sold it over and over again. You are so close to doing private label. You don't even know it. Um, it is a cash cow. If you've done right, it's a cash cow. It's easily automated outsource. Going back to the cash cow, I find arbitrage is a great, a great thing to um, build revenues, dollars to invest into other uh, parts of your business where you should be investing in your business as you go along whether you're investing in outsourcing to VAs, you know, maybe you're building some seller tools. Um, it doesn't matter what you do. I really think you should take that money and reinvest it uh, a little bit here and there on courses, knowledge, whatever it is. New sellers, there's probably a lot of you are new sellers out there. Look, there are millions of profitable ASINs on Amazon. You spend a lot of time in, to a lot of time in toys as a new seller, you're going to be very frustrated. So categories like industrial, scientific, automotive, grocery, kitchen, books. You know what the, in 2016, there was a poll of about 1,500 Amazon buyers. Half of them were prime, half of them were not prime. You know what the biggest thing that they bought on Amazon was the most common was books. There wasn't toys. Toys was like middle of the pack. Automotive was like one of the last ones. They're all big categories, but... Uh, groceries was way up there. Shoes, clothes, a lot of that stuff. Um, there's a lot of brands that are not restricted. And those are the top uh, places where Amazon Prime customers go. You know, generic products, there are generic products galore. And when you do source the way I do, you can find them in the fist. So think about things that didn't work last year. Um, you probably got overwhelmed with RA at some point. What was your hourly wage? Um, mm -hmm. so there may be some things you need to change. You really know how much you earn per hour when you do retail arbitrage. If you do it correctly and you do it as I teach, um, a lot of our people we mentor, you should be somewhere in the ballpark of a hundred dollars to $150 an hour. Mm. I really, that is very, very doable. I went back and looked at my own numbers and that's, that, that's just what I make. And, uh, awesome. Does that include the prep time too and shipping it? That daily? includes the prep time. I may only work. And when I was really heavy into retail arbitrage, I loved it. I okay. still love it. And that's why I like to teach it. But my best months, I only worked 10, 10 full days. So okay. I saw seven days, seven full days. And I prepped for three days because I have so much stuff. Yeah. And that those 10 days would net you 15,000 in profit. Mm -hmm. Mm. So you you multiply that out by how many hours you work. That's where I get the hundred hundred fifty dollar an hour wage. Nice. You know, all the other days I would just shop on my lunch break and learn and try to go outside your comfort zone. And that's what it's all about. You do it because you because you love it. Um, in the beginning, it was kind of a necessity, but I ended up loving it. So, and hopefully, it's the same for you. As some aspect of Amazon, you're probably going to love. So. Mm -hmm. Look, it's into Q4. Everything was going great, I'm sure. Maybe or maybe not. And now what? You know, sales were great. You know, that those dollars were growing all Q4. Mm -hmm. You're probably wondering, oh, man, what, what am I going to do now? Are my sales going to tank? No, there's no reason. I, I believe, and, I, and I'll show you later on, that your sales can be the same year-round. Mm. It doesn't just have to be... Q4 that you look forward to. You don't have to be a fair weather salesperson, <laughs> a seller, fair right. weather seller. You don't want to be that. Uh, all year long, you can achieve the numbers you achieve this Q4. I trust me. Uh, believe me when I say that. Maybe some suggestions. Um, look, you know why most people's sales stink in January is because they quit sending stuff in. Mm, that's true. 
Think yeah. about, um, and look, if you take time off because you spend time with family, that's fine. But um, a lot of sellers will complain about terrible sales in January. And January is a huge month. And that's because people quit about the last two, two and a half weeks. They quit sending stuff in. They just go, well, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> and then, uh, then they get to January and they wonder, and they blame it on traffic. I mean, the traffic <laughs> is there. The gift card sales are there. Right. January, uh, to be honest, uh, a couple of years ago, January, I outsold December in January. Wow. Um, now this year, you want to make sure you make note of your best sellers and revisit those next year. You need to rethink your sourcing strategies. Obviously, you always need to be rethinking your sourcing strategies, fine-tuning them. It is a craft, an art. And you might want to think about outsourcing some of the tasks you found you disliked. Maybe it was taping the boxes. Um, maybe it was, um, I don't know, just organizing the receipts, whatever it is. Um, you need to think about outsourcing that for next year. Go ahead and plan now. I have a strategy in place. So let's go over some strategy. That's what you came here for, right? Mm -hmm. Changing tactics. You know, sourcing is an art science, not an exercise of utility. I just came <laughs> up with that because the way most people do retail arbitrage is an exercise of utility. Why didn't you I'm put sorry. Danny? Well, that, there's a place there for your name. You know I know. I was going to put yours truly, but I, <laughs> I decided not to. Uh -huh. I can't I can't verify 100% that this is an original quote. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to claim it. So okay. <laughs> I thought I better just not. So, you know, the, the approach that most people are taught when you just go out and scan everything, how is that using your brain and how is that an art and science? That's well, that's what I was taught. Hey, just go down the aisle and scan mm -hmm. everything you can and you'll eventually hit on one and you're going to get better at it. And I did, but man, was it frustrating. It's so frustrating. That's what turns <laughs> a lot of people away from it. Yeah. And look, you could outsource that, but do you really want to, I mean, sit there and scan for hours on end, sitting in the floor, scanning stuff. I mean, that's just so silly. Don't do that. There's so many better ways to do it. So that's what we're talking about. Sourcing redefined. This is what gives you a high hourly wage more free time. Cause that's, that's what it's about. Time to spend with your family, time to do your hobbies, whatever, whatever it is you like to do in your free time. Um, less headaches. It, it is intuitive. And it works for new sellers because it unlocks uh, a vast array of listings and, mm -hmm. and that are not restricted. Um, it just opens up a whole new world. I really believe that retail arbitragers as a whole, we're like funneled into maybe, I mean, I don't, I don't even know, maybe one, 2% of all listings on Amazon. We're all funneled in the same little funnel. Mm -hmm. Is everyone scanning the same stuff at Target, Walmart, you know, whatever's on sale, whatever's on clearance, mm -hmm. we're all funneled to that. And you wonder why there is a race to the bottom. I mean, that's just, that's part of the reason you put more uh, inventory than there is demand. There's going to be a race to the bottom. There's going to be a repricing, a downward spiral, spiral to the bottom and your profits evaporate. Right. That's because we, as sellers, there's not really that many of us. Uh, we need to spread out a little bit. And this type of sourcing is a way to do that. So I use the seller app. Um, I'm not going to knock any other apps. And look, some of them can be beneficial, but I think they're a secondary device or secondary to the Amazon seller app. Plus, this one's free. <laughs> it is free. So if you use another seller app, I would highly suggest, unless it's Scoutify and you use it to linked to inventory lab, I would consider not using them. Uh, I really just don't see how it, it's helpful to you. Um, the seller app does everything and so much more than the other apps do. Mm -hmm. So let's rethink sourcing and do things in reverse. So a lot of times when I start doing online arbitrage and retail arbitrage, I start on amazon.com. I don't start on Walmart. I don't start on Toys R Us. Mm -hmm. I start on Amazon, find out what sells, and then go search from there. Those, those tactics are very in-depth. And like I said, it is a craft and it takes time to learn. But uh, over time, you get really good at it. And I've been doing it for a long time. So I have became really good at it. And it's uh, a lot of people will watch me do it. And it seems really easy. And it can be the same for you. So use the Amazon search bar on the seller app. The 
search bar on the seller app is the same search bar as it is on amazon.com. Mm -hmm. You don't get as many search results, but it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. So use the image search function. Um, a lot of people don't use that and may not even know where it is, but you'll see what that is. Yeah, he's going to explain all this guys here in a second. So reverse sourcing in action. This is the case of the missing <laughs> Peter Pan listing. Okay. <laughs> People, I literally grabbed the very first thing. I went down the kitchen and said, I need a product. I need an example. When I made this, <laughs> I literally grabbed the first thing on the counter. My favorite peanut butter. My wife always buys this. You guys are the creamy and not the crunchy kind. Not the crunchy. I like <laughs> the creamy. So, <laughs> but then look, you are an investigator, not a bystander. Uh, look, if you were a, um, let's say this was a job where you were an investigator and you were just scanning the barcode, you'd probably be fired from your job if you were a crime scene investigator because you're not really going in depth. You're not studying the case, right? not really figuring out, uh, using all the information uh, that is given to you right there on that package. Mm -hmm. You don't need anything else. It's right there. Mm -hmm. So the evidence is, we know the suspect is found easily in store or online. He has a known UPC. <laughs> we have a recent photograph of him, as you saw, and witnesses that provide an accurate description. So <laughs> what does this all mean? <laughs> so, I want you to get your seller app out. Yeah, yeah, so we talk about Amazon. <laughs> yeah, I want you to get your seller app out. I want you to scan that barcode. So I got my seller app right here. Okay. Uh -huh. We're going to scan that barcode because uh -huh. you know, I like, I'm hands-on learner. When I was in the military, everything's hands-on. Um, when I learned my trade in contracting, it was all hands-on. So, mm -hmm. so you get, you get, you get exactly what I showed you there. You got the, yeah, so guys, you can actually like, seriously, you can pull out your Amazon seller app right now and scan that barcode. So, so do that real quick. I will get, hang on to this, um, hang on to this slide just a second. Sure. So you guys pull out your phones, pull out your phone and get the Amazon seller app going and put and uh, put it up to the screen there and scan that barcode. I'm going to do it too. There's nothing like, and this is like going over Danny's shoulder here. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a restricted item. That's pantry. You know, one can sell in pantry grocery is where we'll be selling. Okay, so we got two listings that come up on mine. Is that what you got? Yep, that's yep. those are only two, and I put them in a okay. the screenshot here. Okay? okay, so guys, this is um, um this is the meat of this webinar here, and so this is where you really really have to pay attention. Um, and you'll see. Well, well there's a UPC it shows up in the search bar. Yeah. Okay, so what people okay. are doing is they go into the store, and you're like, oh, I see Peter Pan peanut butter. Let's check that and see if it's on Amazon. Ninety nine nine point nine percent of sellers on Amazon are just going to scan the barcode, and that's all they're going to do. And go, and you know, like the price is right. When you get the price wrong, boom, 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 okay, you're gonna be you're gonna be like that. And most of the sellers, okay, maybe there's a listing here that looks okay, but that's not the whole story. So you only know part of the uh, the case here. So let's move <laughs> on. Let's do the visual, okay? okay. So right, you just scanned so. it. Yep. There is a little camera icon right there. You want to move that, okay? And then you're going to literally, like you're taking a picture, you should see a bunch of these blue dots. Take a picture yeah. of Peter Pan right there. This is the coolest webinar ever, Danny. I've never, like, this is interactive. <laughs> <laughs> I like doing interactive. If you've seen me, I like doing interactive stuff, live sourcing. Like a little class. Holy cow. How many more listings? Jeez. They're just a, just a boatload, okay? And look, I couldn't even, obviously, as you see from my screenshot, I only could grab two. So I scrolled down and grabbed a couple. There's the one for 112,000 ranking, 266,000 ranking. Mind you, when you scan this, it's not bringing up that particular size. It will bring up different sizes, but that's, that's the whole point of this. The whole yeah. point of this is when you take the original item, you're not necessarily sourcing just for that item. You're, um, you're opening the doors and you're finding what other Peter Pan listings are great. You're, you may pick up that Peter Pan, but that's just your, um, your suspect. There could be lots of suspects. 
you scan that one, but it's going to bring up when you visual scan, it's going to see Peter Pan, and that's what it's going to bring up. So I'll lock into that. It's going to bring that up on your seller app. So it's going to bring up the 16.3 ounce, the 56 ounce, the six pound jar. It's going to bring up all those, but that's the point. You're going to bring up all those different listings and you're going to go, wow, the crunchy version sells really well. And you're going to look at the shelf and go, oh, here's crunchy. I'll grab that. Oh, here's the creamy one. I'll grab that. Here's the 16.3 ounce one. I'm going to grab that. Yep. Next thing you know, you have like six or seven replenishable items. Okay. So Danny, tell me, um, we got a lot of smart Amazon sellers on here, but tell them why, why these listings come up this way and not by the UPC code. Because you know, when you tap into Amazon's search function, if you've ever used search by image by Google, it's going to bring up every listing that has Peter Pan or whatever it captured in that screenshot. So it's going to bring up everything that has a package on it says Peter Pan. So it's going to bring up many, many listings. Um, and look, this is an art. Taking just scanning the product is an art. Mm -hmm. And you'll learn as you go along how to do better with it. And, uh, you know, I'll show you those tactics as we go along. Yeah. But also guys, if you're, um, if you create listings on Amazon, you know that if you're going to create a brand new listing, now there's a lot of people on here that probably have listings that Amazon doesn't want on there. Like they don't want multiple things, but some of these are different ounces. Um, some of these are for crunchy. And so you just bring up other listings, but you know, when you're creating a listing that you need a UPC code or a GTIN exemption, and so mm -hmm. that is why if you just scan barcodes, you're not going to find those, what we call hidden listings. Because if mm -hmm. I'm, let's say I'm going to create a, a, a two pack of this peanut butter and put it together, I cannot use this barcode that's actually on it because Amazon will say that barcode is for the single, not, not your new listing that you're trying to create. So therefore I have to go out and buy a UPC code, which is something totally different than the one that's on the actual package. So that's why your Danny's finding these hidden listings that are selling really well that you just don't find if you were solely scanning the UPCs. Exactly. So you got to use technology. We have all this, this great technology, your fingertips that the seller app has, and you need to use it. Profit Bandit doesn't do it. Um, Scatify doesn't do it. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that they never will have that capability. That's something that Amazon is, you know, it's built into their tech, you know, their, uh, you know, their whatever. So we scan the picture. So number one, we scan, we scan the UPC. Number mm -hmm. two, let's scan the product. <laughs> number three. Okay. We've only, we're only two thirds of the way there. Number three, we call it the type in. So <laughs> we're going to type it in. We're going to type in Peter Peter Pan, 40 ounce. You can just type in Peter Pan if you want to. It doesn't really matter. You'll craft, uh, you'll learn this craft. And you'll understand. Uh, so when I type in Peter Pan, 40 ounce, looky here, what comes up? You got, uh, when you type it in, you'll see these are $5 each. Look, that's on the high side. Yeah. So you got a three pack here, and this is a merch fulfill price. Yeah. Typing it. $2 buy cost, um, I mean, $32 sell price, $8 profit. You have the two pack of the, of the honey roast creamy natural honey spread. Even better, it's a $15 profit. So case closed, you many more profitable listings. We did, we can't scroll through all this because we don't have room on the screen. Exactly. So, that listing right there, the 75,000 one is now 52,416 in grocery. Yeah, so that's the crunchy peanut butter. I was saying the creamy one. Remember, like I said, we started with the creamy, but that's not necessarily the product we're looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, maybe we'll find that when we scan the UPC, but we're also looking for other related items in that product family in that same brand. So, wow. So you got you two, probably three or four. Cool. So why don't you um, go, I know you got another example, but uh, since this is like, like me might be completely brand new to people, go back and show them the three, the three uh, methods real quick. Okay. So we got UPC. We got yeah, this is what, this is the one that every single Amazon seller knows about. This is what we've, we've been trained. Um, this is the, this is the 99% of Amazon retail arbitrages. Mm -hmm. Stop right here. Okay. Yep. I'd say 1% might make it to this point 
And Danny, this is why you would say that um, the Amazon seller app is maybe superior to some of the other apps it's key. It's because you can, uh, you can scan the pictures. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. And you tap into the, you know, you can uh, use the search function on when you type things in on the other ones, but mm -hmm. I found you get different search results sometimes. So just tap into the amazon.com search. So yep. I know. What, what does a customer type in? That's reverse sourcing. What is a customer typing in when they're, looking at this? they're typing in Peter Pan peanut butter? Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe they're typing Peter Pan 40 ounce because they like that size because it's a good value. So they'll see those uh, listings first. Mm -hmm. See this one and also see these. But I like the crunchy in the three pack. I'm <laughs> going to get that. You know. So this is the type in Peter Pan 40 ounce. Tapping into the Amazon search bar right here. Yeah. Ooh. Guys, how many right times have you went to a store and scanned something using the barcode and nothing came up at all and you just stopped and moved on to other product, other products on the shelf? I did that. That's what I mostly did. Look, um, I'm guilty I would of that. Stop. But after learning, talking mm -hmm. to Danny, I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I left so much money on the table by not typing things in or not taking, you're scanning the actual package. It's crazy. Um, this opens up so many new doors. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do this online arbitrage. You can do the same thing with your seller app. Pictures up there, you can scan it. Uh -huh. I'm not going to do a ton of online arbitrage, but when I do, I do use the seller app. Just pull out your seller app and you can scan the screen just like we did. Yeah, I actually saw, I heard some, I think you might have told me uh, to scan the, um, like if you get to ads in the newspaper. You can scan uh, sales flyers. Yes. Sales you can do that. Flyers. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So. And you can do all kinds of neat things with it. Use your imagination, you know. Um, look, I I kid you not when I say this. If you source this way, and I know it's going to be a habit you're going to have to break, and you're going to be you're going to get sucked back into just game barcodes because it's just convenient. It's yeah, it's, it's it is easier. It is. If you if you don't do it this way, I am convinced. I am convinced based on what our students have done that you're, you're probably um, missing out on, take your sales and multiply it by two. And that's probably the amount of profit or wow. sales you're missing out on. Wow. It's just, that's just the bottom line. I mean, look, this is all great based on fact and proof though. Mm -hmm. And as you see at the end, this is not just made up stuff. You know, this is based on fact and our findings. Yep. And guys, well, I mentioned earlier that I said that um, Danny makes retail arbitrage a long-term sustainable business. And so the, the, what, how that works. So let's say, so these are technically hidden listings. Like most mm -hmm. Amazon sellers aren't going to find these listings because they're just scanning barcodes. So then you take like, let's say that Peter Pan one right there, the pack of three, um, you can then favorite that in your Amazon seller app and you can mm -hmm. constantly just replenish that thing. If you have a list yeah. of 20, 30 different items that are, that are constantly that you just go back and replenish that's how it makes it retail arbitrage more of a long-term business. Typically, retail arbitrage, you're, you're, it's one-off items or going to clearance uh, shelves and finding a few things and you can never find it again. And so that's the frustrating part about it. Now, the margins are great um, on that type of stuff. But think about you don't want to go from store to store always on the hunt for brand new inventory. Why not have a list of 20 or 30 items that you can just constantly go back to you can hire a shopper and say, Hey, go buy these things. You have a list. Um, and you just say, Hey, go buy these for things for me. Cause there are things that you know, you always are always going to need. And so you can favorite them in your seller app. And then, you know, Hey, I, I know I need this next time I go to Walmart. I'm going to get this, these peanut butter. Um, you can even uh, place larger orders with Walmart. They'll allow you to place bulk orders. And so it just makes it so much easier. Absolutely. So um, I got another case here. Um, another one, awesome. Tree. So, so I got a missing tree. Obviously the same thing here. We're gonna start by scanning the UPC. So this is the UPC on this particular holiday time tree found easily at Walmart. And the results are just meh, you know, that's, if you look at it and click on the listing, it's just slightly over break even. This is a $15 buy cost. Uh huh. So most people would say, "All right, I'm done." Mm -hmm. Look, 23 sellers on this. Okay, keep that in mind. 
And it looked the rank's not bad, 61,000 in home. Okay, mm -hmm. not too bad. Let's, let's move on here. So if, if you need a second, just scan the UPC. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, okay. So this is the image on the box. I grabbed it from Walmart's website. Scan the image. And then this is what it brought up. Okay, there's more listings. Still nothing too exciting. The results are kind of, you know, yeah, sigh. Hey, can you talk can up a little bit or, or change your microphone? JB saying he can't hear you very well. Yeah, so I'm um, sorry. I'll just sit a little closer here. So when you do a visual scan on this, this is the picture on the box. So you would scan it. Uh, you can do it off Walmart's website. Same difference. Uh -huh. You know, the results are, I would sigh because they're still not great. You got slow moving ASIN. Stay away from this category, miscellaneous SDP. People ask me about that all the time. Don't buy that. It's a category that where products go to die. <laughs> um, there is no sales volume in these categories. It looks great. <laughs> Unless it's ranked number one or one through 100, maybe in miscellaneous. Uh, okay. Maybe that will work out for you. Where products, down, there's a bunch of other disappointing non-ranking listings. It's where products so, go to die. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's just, you know, okay. So the, the visual didn't work this time. That's fine because you're on to step three. And what is that? That's the type in, right? Uh huh. Step three, typing it in. You can type in holiday time, 32 inch tree. Bingo, bango, bongo. Look at this thing. 12,000 rank in home, 36.99. The FBA price is $47 right now. Wow. And yes, it will sell for that price. Uh, I don't care what the merchant for gold price is. When's the last time you bought something as a prime subscriber that was not prime? <laughs> Um, so a lot of people ask me that don't price it 10% above. If you're the only FBA seller, juice it up there, try 40, 40% 40 higher. Mm -hmm. sell, sell things that are 50% higher than merchant fulfill. As again, if you have a prime subscription, people are not using it to buy merchant fulfilled sellers or third party sellers. They're not using it for that. So when you do your Amazon fulfilled $17 profit, you know, that's great. Yeah. You got to type a little shipping in there. It's not that much might be 50 cents per tree, depending on how many you bought, mm -hmm. a dollar tops. So this is a stellar listing, 12,000 yeah. rank. And um, the only way to find eight sellers on by, And the only way to find that is by typing that one in. And uh, as last I checked earlier this afternoon, two FBA sellers, are probably one left by now uh, because it's that time of year. Mm -hmm. I've been selling on this listing and I know it's been, the rank has been higher. It's been good all year round. Everyone's been jumping over here on this listing. So uh, that's too many people over here. Look where I am. I'm on the fringes of uh, retail. That's where I that's where I thrive on the fringes of a uh, retail arbitrage. So that's where you need to be, and that's where I want to see you go because there's so much room to spread out here. So many different listings. Um, there's other colors. Look, oh, the pink one. I'm going to check that one out because it's sitting right here next to the green one. Mm -hmm. So. So you guys so see that, the beauty of this. So again, um, the other example was the creamy peanut butter. When you typed in the, the peanut butter, the type it in Peter Pan 40 ounce, you come up with different, uh, different versions, the, the crunchy. Um, and the same thing with this one, you come up with the, the, the pink one as well. And so then you can like, wow, this one's also selling for 33 45. Um, yeah. that's probably also $15 at Walmart. So it just opens you up to all these other listings that are quote hidden. Um, and then you can just find them on the shelves. Precisely. And that, that's what this is all about. It's really no harder than this. The question is, are you going to take the time to do it? And uh, I would say most sellers are not going to do this. Despite hearing what I say, uh, mm -hmm. it, this is what separates, you know, the people are very successful uh, with retail arbitrage. I'm talking, the, you know, the big sellers, the ones you hear about or maybe the ones you don't hear about that. Uh, sell hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars in retail arbitrage every year, come uh, with, you know, a solid background and understanding how the seller app works. And this really sets you apart uh, from your competition and you will thrive and you're going to have, look, you know, you don't really have to sell that much on Amazon. You don't need to sell a million dollars. You don't need to sell $500,000. Mm -hmm. You don't even need to sell four hundred. dollars Yep. If you sell 300,000 sourcing this way, realistically, you could net $100,000. I'm talking about after all of your expenses. 
Yeah. Some guys, you'll see these gurus say, I sold $10 million. Yeah, because they drop shipped everything. <laughs> or they, they sold stuff at the razor thin margins. And you find out, and I've talked to some of them, they only made $100,000. How much work did that take you to sell $10 million? <laughs> And you only make one hundred and hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Do you really want to be that guy? Yeah, it looks like a great number on paper, but I mean, it, it's about what you take home. It's about Absolutely. what you're what you take home for your family. You know, that's what it's all about. And your time is it was it well spent or not so well spent? Right. Real quick, Danny, can you show um, Barbara where to type where you go to type in on the seller app? Sure. Point right well, there. Well, yeah, right here when you go when you open your seller app, you go to. Um, add a product from the main screen. And then on the next screen, the search Amazon to sell, just type it there. And that's where you'll do it. Yeah. So Barbara, it's right there where it says holiday time, 32 inch tree. Yeah. On the I'm screen. sorry. Yeah. Right here. If you can see my mouse. Yep. Yeah. You can see that right there. Uh-huh. Yep. Um, Letitia has a good question. I know we can take questions at the end, but this is right on with what you're talking about. Um, do you, okay. do you go to step three and type in the item, even if you get a response from the UPC? Like oh, absolutely. Know, I know you got a response absolutely. on all these yeah. other ones, um, but they, were, yeah. um, they weren't they were really good. If you go and you type in the UPC and you, or you scan the UPC and you actually do find a good one, would you go on to the next steps? Absolutely. See, that's okay. what sets you apart from other sellers. Okay. You, you, there's this temptation to stop there. But, you know, when I scan a UPC and I see a great item, uh -huh. I was like, wow, that's a great profit. That gets me excited because... I'm, I'm already, I'm already be better. and I'm already doing really well. Yep. What What will step two and three unveil? Right. Uh, you know, if that product is that good, there's a good chance there's some other sister products or a bundle uh -huh. that uh, could be un, uh, unearthed here and uh -huh. find out those are just even better, if not just as good as the first item. Yeah, so if you found uh, that peanut the butter, let's say the crunchy one that you or the creamy one that you found, let's say the first one was yeah. good. Um, uh, and then you found some on the step two and three, would you buy, would you send in some on, on several listings? Absolutely. That's okay. what it's all about. Um, you know, the Jim Cochran preaches inch, inch deep, mile wide, and this is a perfect way to do that because yep. uh, you, Okay, what if one of them crashes in price for some reason, which it's not going to because you're the only one that's going to find that listing. But okay. let's say it did. Um, no big deal. You have four or five other listings you're on at the same time. Mm -hmm. So likelihood of all of them crashing in price is pretty much zero. I really have to deal with the race to the bottom when you source this way. It just doesn't happen. There's so much room out there. There are tens of millions of listings that exist just like what I'm showing you here. And we're all funneled into maybe the same <laughs> million, 500,000, maybe the same, the same fingerlings and all the other high fingerlings, same <laughs> LOL dolls, same whatever it is that was selling great, you know, same right. Lovabellas. I mean, for crown wow, there's like 800 sellers on Lovabella. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, or, you know, it's just, you know, think outside the box and that's how you will, if, if you're really serious about doing this and doing well for yourself, you must, must change your tactics and you must do it this way and add on to this. I'm sure you can make it better as the time goes on. My tactics have evolved even beyond this mm -hmm. and uh, have gotten even more in depth and intuitive the way I do things with these three searches. But I would sit here for two days having to explain it to you. And uh, we obviously we can't all sit here for two days. So, <laughs> so. but uh, all right, I just want to throw this in and some of you may have seen this, but I have a, what's called a Danny's retail hierarchy. And how far do you fly? You have so, the best examples, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. So Walmart, look, you're not flying very high. If you shop at Walmart all the time, Walmart is great. I've made thousands, tens of thousands of dollars from Walmart, but every other mom and pop, sister-in-law, brother-in-law, step cousin, whatever it is, is shopping at Walmart doing retail arbitrage and finding the same items you're finding. So you're not, you're not lifting off too far. I encourage you to start moving on to these other layers. Maybe go to Toys R Us. Toys R Us, a little bit harder to shop because sometimes you have to stack sales in order to make it profitable. Kmart, Definitely a weight being lifted. 
<laughs> Kmart staples are my top stores, have been my top stores in, in the previous two years, not this year. But uh, because that's just because there's not many Kmarts. Otherwise, I'd still be crushing it at mm -hmm. Kmart. But uh, no one believes me, it seems like, when I tell them Kmart was my top source for retail arbitrage and Staples wow. was close second or they were always <laughs> competition with each Staples, what? You know, it's like, what are you talking about? Staples, who shops at <laughs> Staples? And uh, <laughs> regional stores, nothing to bring you down. Look, you're going out in that uh, outer space here. Nothing can pull yeah. you back now. What do you mean by regional stores? Regional stores. Those are stores. Maybe they're only like Heb is in Texas, or you got uh, Rural King in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, High V stores, or you got uh, like other Menards. types of trader stores. You got Menards you got a, and Meyer. Meyer, yeah, Menards. And and you're, if you're out west, like Fred Meyer and Kroger, Fred here, Meyer, yeah, in the Midwest. You got, uh, Texas. Yep. Got that Public. gas station in Texas, whatever. Yeah, uh, Bucky's. <laughs> Bucky's. Dickies. Yeah. Bucky's. Uh huh. Bucky's. Yeah. I was with Brian in Texas when we went yep. to a Bucky's. Trader Joe's. Absolutely. I just typed in uh, Bucky's into the search app, uh, search bar into the seller app, and I found a bunch of these corn nuts that were just, I couldn't believe how well they were selling. And the profit they were selling. Yeah. That was really incredible. Like, the only reason you didn't buy them because you didn't have a plate, didn't weren't able to prep I them. I didn't have it. You know, I flew there and it didn't have any space. So <laughs> it's just amazing. I mean, the, the opportunity is so you track your supply. I mean, I mean, geez, I mean, there's so many other stores. So let's not all shop at the same store. I need some mobile room out there. You know, we need to spread out. Okay. There's so many other stores. Oh my God. Let's do that because they're just gold mines. But let's tell everybody too that if you, if Walmart's, in, like if you live in a rural area and your closest Walmart's an hour away and there's not, not really much outside of that, you can still do really well because oh, you're absolutely hidden listings. That brings up a good point, Ryan. I live in a rural area. The town I live in right now has a population of 750 people. Okay. The next town over has a, uh, has 17,000. We only have the big five. We have like Walmart, Home Depot, Toys R Us, Target, and Menards, if you want to call that part of the big five. That's all we got. I travel many times, three hours one way to get to a place where I can shop more stores. So if you live in a metropolitan area, you should just absolutely crush it. <laughs> and uh, you have so many regional stores, big stores. I mean, every time I go to Dallas and visit Ryan, I'm just salivating at all the <laughs> shopping possibilities. It's amazing. I would love to just hop in a car and 30 minutes later, I'm in, it's almost like I'm in a different city, but I'm just on the other <laughs> side of the city. So. That's true. So it's pretty amazing. So, right. you know, so my suggestions, like I said, you can search regional stores. You see there's Heb, Safeways, Kroger's, Aldi. Um, mm -hmm. save a lot king scooper super targets fries really good dollar food store tom thumb food pharmacy mm -hmm. one of my best <laughs> i'm not going to tell you what it is but uh <laughs> one of my best regional stores is a pharmacy i'll just tell you that so stay away from the herd obviously something feels wrong everyone's jumping off the cliff everyone's buying piping <laughs> maybe you should do something different uh, source smart and build relationships, build relationships and with other people in the community. Um, there's other ways to build relationships, uh, build relationships with managers at stores. They'll give you the first, first uh, dibs on a really good deal. Some clearance they pulled the best, the best thing that ever happened to me is one of my best friends, uh, assistant manager at a local Walmart. They pulled, they pulled 20 pallets of toy clearance out of the back. And the age of the pallet was up to 10 years old. Oh, my goodness. Now, I pulled out Lego sets galore that were like <laughs> Toy Story 1 Lego sets. And when's the last time Toy Story 1 was on TV? That was on VHS. That was like 90s, okay? Late 90s <laughs> so, or mid-90s. So whatever it was. But, you know, all the stuff they brought out of the back, it was I was, it was giggling. It was just too easy. It was, it was fun. It was, those are the moments you live for, but that's because you built a strong relationship with that person. You know, when I, when I befriend you know, made friends with them, I didn't know he's a, a manager at Walmart, but we mm -hmm. built a friendship and, uh, you know, it, uh, just kind of things work out in mysterious ways sometimes. 
All right. Well, let's move on. That was a lot. That was, that was a awesome, lot man. to talk about. So look, you got to have some sort of goal for 2018. Look, and here's what we're here to talk about. Please stay tuned. This could be a huge opportunity and so many people have taken this opportunity and you will just be absolutely blown away what has happened to them, their story, which I'll give you one incredible story um, and so many others like it. So a goal for 2018, you know, you got to have some goals or dreams. Like I said, whether you want to come home to your, uh, you want to come home from your nine to five job. He used to be a contractor. I was a contractor for 15 years in the family business. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoyed it. It was rewarding, by, but I enjoyed this much more. So, and I had to figure out a way how to achieve the goal of moving away from that. And uh, the salary, you know, you get sucked in by the salary, the benefits, but uh, you know, you probably, a lot of you may be here because you want to get away from that, or you're just looking, maybe you did, and now you're looking away to expand your business. So, so you got to have some, some sort of plan. You know, and I believe you got to surround yourself with people who have similar goals and futures, but different past experiences. Uh, diversify your business. Look, retail arbitrage is not the end all. That's why I do all the above strategy. Um, mm -hmm. You got to have some motivation, a support group. If you're in the Q4 sessions and you see how valuable that is and a goal, like I said. So I run a group called Amazon Legends, and we're going to get a little, to, little bit about what is that. and. Okay, hey, can we tell it? Can we say how that started? Yeah, you tell the story, Ryan. <laughs> so, guys, we were uh, uh, like almost exactly a year ago, um, not too long, uh, not too uh, earlier than that. Danny told me about his reverse sourcing method. This way, he just talked to you guys tonight and said, Oh my gosh, you have to do a webinar. And we called mm -hmm. it RA the Easy Way Workshop or something. Yeah. <laughs> went into, right. he went into, uh, examples of how, uh, well, like what he did tonight, but I think a lot of the examples were Christmas related items because it was Christmas time. Um, like it is now. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, Danny talked about his, um, his Amazon seller app and his favorite list. So like I, guys, I told you how you can find items when you find that peanut butter, for example, that's a hidden listing, you know, not doesn't come up with the UPC code. But when you either scan the picture or you type in the item, you find those listings. So those are the ones that you want to favorite because you want to go back to those and complete, continually replenish those. Danny talked about how he had hundreds of items favorited. And so on the webinar, I was like, oh, my gosh, I just had an idea. Like, Danny would uh, – now, I hope I don't – not stepping on your toes here. Can I ask a question? Basically, could I – would you – since you have so many – do you think that you'd be willing to share some of those mm -hmm. because you're not able to probably do all of them now anyway? Some of those you're not sourcing anymore. <laughs> and he was like, um, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. And so we asked the folks on the webinar live, who would be interested in being in a group where Danny shares his favorites, the, the items that he's found that are good finds mm -hmm. and continues to find other and continues to share other things that he finds. And everybody's like, yes, 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 yes. Let's do it. And so that's how the Amazon Legends group was born. It turned, it started out as a, a site or a group of folks, um, like you talked about it, um, just a, a, a support group, essentially, where we're just sharing deals with, D Danny was sharing deals and we were helping each other out and all that. And it's morphed to so much more. And so he's going to get into what is, what Legends is today, but it literally started a year ago on a webinar exactly like this. Yeah, it started a year ago to this day. <laughs> all 20, 2016 is when we started. Yeah. And uh, here we are a year later, and boy, do I have some stories to tell you. And uh, it started off as retail arbitrage based. Now we talk about everything. Um, one of the most recent topics in January is going to be Shopify stores, uh, print on demand. I'm sure a lot of you have heard. I'm not talking about merch. This is so much better than Amazon merch. But uh, print on demand, uh, private labeling, wholesale exclusives, bundling, all that is... Uh, it started with retail arbitrage as the core because it builds a good foundation for your business. And now we've moved on to everything from private label to Shopify. Mm -hmm. The neatest thing about this group, and I, there's no way you could have picked a better 100 plus 120 plus people <laughs> and put them together. The family, and this, it's unbelievable. It's like we all know each other, how close knit this family is. We, we pray for each other. We, it's uh, we're always picking each other up and you know what you see that uh, shine through in people's sales and they're just 
being so, um, you know, loose with their time and even their money and their finances, you know, just helping other people out. Yep. You said look, it, is, it is a family because we called our last uh, conference that we had, it was here in Dallas in October. We called it the Legends Family Reunion. Yeah. The, we keep this a very small community on purpose because it, the culture stays um, a certain way and we don't want to ruin that. So yep. every quarter we come out here and we do have very limited spots open and they usually fill up very fast. And over the past year, we have built up a catalog of just incredible content. Mm -hmm. uh, I have done webinars out my out the years, you know, I mean, just <laughs> webinar, webinar, webinar. All, they're not about retail arbitrage. Some, a lot of them are about retail arbitrage, but a lot of them are about so much more than that. Yep. Repricing, uh, all kinds of other tactics. In January, we're going to be having a, a fin financial advisor come on and talk to us. What do you do with the money you earn through Amazon? So this is so much more. And this is all exclusively for people in this group. This doesn't go outside of this group. So that's what kind of what it's about. Now let's go on to some of the... Uh, now this next, you see all these bubbles out here. <laughs> okay, when we started, there was maybe one bubble. Okay, right, right. These are what I would call the legendary perks. The okay, legendary these are perks. All the perks yeah. you're going to get for being part of this group. And this is going to blow you away at the end, and you see what what does it cost to be in this group? Like you're just giving it away because we are. Uh, trust me, just hang tight and watch. Daily OA finds. I have a VA who sits in the groups. Her only job is to post deals Monday through Friday, and she posts very good deals. She's been doing online arbitrage for a very long time. We're getting ready to bring on um, some others as well. So, so Monday through Friday, you're going to have just OA deals dumped into your deals group. So you'll have a separate group for that, which we'll talk about. And these are in the WhatsApp and even um, on Excel sheets. Danny, you want to count these two as you're going? So that's okay. One. So you got. Here's number two. You get RA fines are compiled weekly by one of our um, very good um, students slash moderators. Um, mm -hmm. He compiles them in an Excel sheet and he shares them with that corresponding group, whatever shared in group A or B or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, those groups are compiled and shared. So you don't have to go and try to find them. They're all shared there in the Excel sheet. Mm -hmm. Perk number three, how to hire and manage a VA. I'm all about outsourcing. Currently, I have seven VAs. Maybe I might have nine by the end of January. So this is a done-for-you course on managing and hiring a VA. That can be a very daunting task the first time you do it. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have a guy in our group, just an amazing person. Um, he, he has built this whole website, this whole course on how to hire a VA. And he has graciously shared that with the Legends group and uh at no cost to you so i mean it's amazing this this alone is worth the price of admission number four i spent the last six months creating a custom-made stock predictor it's its own website and it's for legends only no one else has access to this uh what it does i had i hired a lady from the netherlands a mathematician from a university very good mathematician <laughs> hired her to create a tool that would predict based on Keepa data. Now this isn't made up stuff, or I'm guessing this is gonna go out of stock. Based on Keepa data for a year, past year, of uh, what is gonna run out of stock, probability percentage that it will run out of stock in the next 30 days. And this wow. is talking about Amazon running out of stock. Everyone looks for those opportunities because uh, you can merchant fulfill for <laughs> the big profits. Okay. And there's probably 600 products sitting on this list right now. Wow. Free access to this. You don't even want to know how much time and effort this took, but it was well worth it. People have done really well this Q4 with this tool. Yeah. Oh, Danny, and we mentioned, that, um, go back to that real quick. Is that one mm -hmm. of the tools that's going to be allowed outside of the group at a, at a price? No. Okay, that's not no, one. This one, no. This is okay. Legends only. Okay. Because, oh, that's right. I'm sorry. It says it right there. Yep. Because, yep, guys, he's going to get, he's gonna get into some tools that are, um, that are free for the Legends group, but that um, he does plan to um, market outside the group but those are going to cost for outside the group. So I'm sorry. Yeah. This says legends only. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Now this just finished today. Amazon sold out tool. Look, this is, this is what I was talking to you about. This is a craft. 
And so I figured out how to unlock millions of hidden SKUs that no one else can see or find. Uh, no other seller is finding these, 100% sure. This, what this extension does, it'll find all unavailable listings on Amazon in a category. Mm-hmm. And it'll also tell you listings that Amazon is getting ready to run out of stock on. It will not re- be replenishing. So it'll put, spit those all out in an Excel sheet for you. This, <laughs> I don't even know how much I'm going to charge for this because it's such a valuable tool and the possibilities uh, for the, the potential to make money on this is huge. Uh, just because the amount of listings and SKUs you can find that have zero sellers on them. Mm-hmm. A lot of people make bundles or whatever, and they sell out and they just abandon the listing. Yep. How do you find those? Well, this is extension finds it for you. This tool does it. I just released this today in the group, gave them a login. You can download it. It's available. And, but uh, outside this group, it's a paid paid tool. So, uh, but, but for people in the Legends group, it will always be free. We have just countless hours of recorded content. I mean, it's just unbelievable amounts. I mean, video after video, they're all long. They're all, the topics are just red hot, actionable pieces of content. That's all they are, just content galore. All topics cover, not just retail arbitrage. So as your business grows, we grow with you. Yep. So a lot of people have moved on to prove an audience formula or something like that. We have accommodated for that and moved on with them. So we grow as you grow because I've grown my business and Ryan has grown his business beyond retail arbitrage, you know, to private label and beyond. Mm-hmm. So my goal is to always stay maybe three, four steps ahead of everybody else. That way I can keep breaking new ground for this group. Prep center discounts, as you may know or may not know, I do have a prep center and it is a Jim Cochran approved prep center partner. There's, Mind you, there is a list, but there are only three. Uh, I think there's only two now that are approved prep centers. One, my fulfillment team mm-hmm. and ours. We use software. If you deal with a prep center that doesn't use software, you're wasting a lot of time because uh, that requires a lot of emailing, getting giving them access to your account. Uh, that's not something you really necessarily want to do. Our software automates everything, printing labels, creating the shipping plans. We have flat rate pricing. It is the best pricing out there already, but we're going to give you additional 10% off. We have some people in the group that one lady in our group, this Q4 is pay for a subscription by getting the prep center discount by itself. That's awesome. What do you, Hey, real quick. A lot of people do prep centers, but what do you mean by uh, flat, flat rate pricing? Flat rate pricing. We don't charge extra for bubble wrap, poly bags, boxes, but what good is that going to do you if you don't know your true cost of goods? Mm-hmm. So as a seller, and this is a seller centric prep center. So what that means is we have that all sellers um, demands uh, things they have in mind on our minds. And that would be, how, what are your true cost of goods? Well, it's very easy to figure out. You go to our website, you go to the pricing. Boom. It says it right there. It's tiered by how much volume to send in. It's based on a 24 hour period. So you know exactly what your cost of goods are. So if you send us wholesale, private label, online arbitrage stuff, you know where your true cost of goods are. So when you go in the inventory lab and put that in, you're not guessing, well, does this need a poly bag? How many, how many inches of bubble wrap does this take? How many boxes am I going to use? Mm-hmm. You don't have to worry about any of that. It's all built into our pricing. There are no hidden fees, period. Love it. This is something we've been working on. It's been very difficult. But uh, I had to talk to a developer today. It's very near completion. Amazon account management. So what this means is if you need, if you haven't reconciled your account, you need refunds, any non-revenue revenue generating tasks. I already have VA sitting on the sidelines ready to jump in there and take care of all those non-revenue generating tasks that you spend time and effort in doing when you could be spending time doing something for yourself or spending time with your family. This alone is worth, we're, this will be charged outside the group. It's going to be starting somewhere and similar services are $299 a month. Mm. This one will only be somewhere maybe around the $147 a month range. Wow. So, I mean, you only have, if you just take advantage of this, you only have $50 to overcome, which you just have to sell one replenishable. Yeah. So when you say the non-revenue generate, would it be like um, requesting? Reconcile re- inventory, uh, fixing stranded inventory, removing negative feedbacks. Um, I love it. Finding all the money that Amazon owes you. That's a full-time job. Wow. It's like. 
So that that's huge. Okay. Brick seek tracker. Okay. I have a VA who takes all your zip codes. She tracks all the brick seek deals nearby. Um, you get uh, Excel sheet three times a week, sometimes two, depending on uh, how many deals are on BrickSeek. But uh, I just upload those to the uh, Facebook group or WhatsApp group. You just open it, look up your zip code, and you go, wow, there are seven of these. I just, uh, at my local Walmart, they had 20 of these um, Connects roller coasters. Uh, they're a pretty old version, and they're only $7 each. You're selling for $35. That little, that find out the BrickSeek thing. If I was paying the subscription, would pay for that right there. Wow. All you have to do is find. Uh, you don't have to have a brick seat subscription if you have one. Get rid of it. I pay for it for you, and I have a VA. I pay, and to find the deals for you. Beautiful. I do live RA retail arbitrage store walkthroughs. So all these great places, wherever I can get a sell signal, I'll go. So Facebook live videos. So if you're in Q4 sessions, you like learning hands-on, you like some, you like to watch me do retail arbitrage on the fly. Um, <laughs> and I'll just do it on the fly. No, no, uh, as Ryan knows, it doesn't always go as planned. <laughs> uh, one time in, when in Menards, I kind of got skunked, but uh, the next one I went to Toys R Us, so we crushed it. So you just never know. I mean, it's not always uh, glamorous. You don't always kill it every time. Um, so, but, uh, as you'll see from these videos, so very neat to watch. We have new webinars every month. Like I said, I already have one scheduled for January by financial advisor coming on to talk to you guys about how to, uh, what to do with this money, how to become your own bank is basically what it's going to be. And, to, uh, and also take care of your family in case something mm -hmm. happens to you. So that's important when you're self-employed. Um, so you can watch myself and other people, not just myself, other people provide mega content and it changes every month. I mean, okay. We have unlocked Amazon Canada. We've taken all the guesswork out of it. Okay. We have a prep center partner in Toronto. She's part of the legends group. She also sells in the UK. So, and we're getting ready to lock, unlock new frontiers. Uh, Ryan, I've had some neat discussions. Those will be um, talked about in the future. But Canada, we've unlocked Canada. You will not believe the amount of sales people from our group have made in Canada. The margins are huge. <laughs> All the stuff where everyone is racing to the bottom on dot com, mm -hmm. we sent it to Canada and we scored big time. So yeah. all those LOL dolls, everyone was sending it to dot com. We sent to Canada. Everything is taken care of. There's no worry about some brokerage thing or going out your manifest stuff. All that stuff is taken care of for you. You send all your retail arbitrage stuff up there. You can literally just take your retail arbitrage, put it in a box. Don't have to do anything to it. Send it to her prep center up there. She takes care of the manifest, all of it. You just slap a label on it. All you literally have to do is slap the shipping label on it that she gives yeah. you. You put it with the rest of your UPS pickup. And it goes to Canada, not .com. And you're going to you're gonna make huge profits in Canada. And yep. there's things really what, what she does that makes it so cool is that she takes care of all the customs and all that stuff, the scary stuff. Um, yeah, all the stuff that know. deters people. And yep. she her shipping rates are what make it worth it. So. Yep. so we get to use her shipping rates, which are very good. So Amazon Canada, that's worth... Well, how much would you pay for a Canada course? I mean, really? I know. <laughs> okay. You don't have to because this is a one-stop shop. There's a bundling tool. This is an extra fee, mind you. Very small one. We have an in-resident bundling expert. I mean, top-notch bundler, Leanna. She's also a listing creator expert for a very, very, very small fee. She will create listings for you if you want her to. You can also use the custom bundler tool. It says bundling made easy. It literally is so easy. You can make, it's hard to explain and I don't have time to explain it here, but if you join the group, you'll see um, you can make 15 bundle listings off of two products. Yep. So, okay. We have at least, we have two live Le legends conferences a year. You can, for a very low cost, you know, we're just trying to cover costs here. Uh, our previous conference well, last year was at the Gaylord in Dallas, so we're not staying at the uh, Motel 6, you know, or something. So 
<laughs> we're going to have a nice place for you so we can That's have right. fun. And it's about the networking and building relationships and bonding as a group, as a family. And that's what this is about. That's right. And uh, it's just the takeaways from that. It's not the content is always killer. It's always unique and always new. Mm -hmm. But the biggest takeaway from these conferences is the friendships, the relationships you built and uh, the people that get to. Hey, I don't live very far away from you. Let's get coffee every Saturday and talk about our businesses. Right. So all so many people have met in this group and <laughs> realize they literally like neighbors. <laughs> they had to come all the way to Dallas just to figure that out. So, okay. okay. WhatsApp groups. Now they're separate. This isn't like, um, um, Q4 sessions. There are separate topic WhatsApp groups. There'll be a Q and a group where you just ask your questions that you have whatever it may be, and boom, I pop in there and answer your question or one of the moderators do. i say the average wait time to get an answer is maybe 30 seconds. That's so, right. And uh, you'll have a deal, separate deals group, so all the, all the deals will stay separate from the conversation. So all the valuable conversation. We do have an outsourcing, um, on, online arbitrage outsourcing WhatsApp group as well, and a couple others. And so they keep the conversation separated by topic. Yep. Dedicated Facebook group. That's where we find all the videos and all the other discussion. So obviously that's a, that's a given. Um, and create a legends app. Okay. <laughs> Q4 okay. sessions, you get really frustrated. Sometimes you, people are posting deals left and right during Q4 and you're like, Oh my gosh, I don't even remember where this came from. Well, this legends app, you take all your finds, all the things from the media files and WhatsApp, and you can organize them by store in this app. I had this app created just for you guys. <laughs> and it's free to use, of course. Um, you just put all of your deals, organize them. I put the top one under retail stores. You can add new stores, add your products. You can scroll through them. There's like a little file, uh, all the screenshots of all your finds. You're like, okay, I'm at Walmart. And I need to pick up. What do I need to pick up? I forgot. Yep. Well, your shopping list is in the app. That's beautiful. We have a resident China sourcing agent, Grace in our group. She lives in Singapore and she has all these connections in China. She's had several people in our group have sourced. We, one example, uh, one lady in our group um, got a seasonal item sourced in China. She got shipped to us at our prep center. Um, Grace did everything for her. She found the manufacturer. She said, here's the price. Okay. Here's how much shipping is. She arranged all the shipping to from door to door, from the manufacturer to our warehouse. She didn't have to do anything. She just had to pull out the credit card and pay for it. She sold through, I mean, her private label item just caught on fire and just took off. It's amazing how well she did. And uh, it was just, I just had a big smile on my face every time we kept sending more of this item in that she had. It was just, it was it was neat to see because I remember when she where she started just doing a little bit of retail arbitrage and now she's got this huge business that has re arbitrage wholesale and private label now built on top and she is outsourcing with VAs she's like it's amazing where she's came from until now you could be that person too even more perks coming soon we have new international markets that are going to be unlocked very soon a financial advisor I have a new Chrome extension coming in January. It's gonna, it's a big time saver, time hack. Print on demand is coming very soon. We're not talking about t-shirts, we're talking about everything. Print on mugs, print on t-shirts, hoodies, aprons, uh, bags, totes, anything you want to put your design on. So if you do merch, pick those designs, put them on anything. Mastermind groups, I've helped, helped set up a couple. And uh, I have a VA who has already given me all the details uh, to, to pass on to you guys. He can build Shopify store for you, custom ones, not just some generic looking junky store, but a, ver a really good Shopify store. They start driving, creating an audience, a brand and driving traffic to. <laughs> so wow. I count uh, 18 plus that last slide. Okay. That's 18. Is that all? There's more because I forgot some and I couldn't fit them on there. So no, I was getting a little long winded. Look, Proof is in the pudding. So let's the power of proof here. I got, I, these are just, uh, just a small handful of sales shots from people who gave, gave this to me to show. 
I put them together. See here, this is um, last year before Legends, and this is this is a whole year after Legends. Wow. There's almost a double in sales year over year because yep. a direct impact of the Legends group. Yeah. So let's move down here. Not all of them are just going to blow you away. Same same person last year she did. 24,000 in sales this year. She's already done 54,000. She's only been in the group a very short amount of time and she has already blown her sales away from last year. Let's move over here. This is a, uh, sorry, I blocked that one. Uh, going here to this one. This person was struggling. I mean, just really struggling. I know who this person is. They were selling actively up and started in June. I mean, they just about gave up. Uh, they joined Legends, and look what happened. This is the blue line this year. Wow. It skyrocketed. So last year they sold $1,389.61, and this year they've done 171000 So a tenfold growth. Oh, my uh, goodness. So even though they started in the middle of 20, 2016, let's say they did the whole year and they only sold 40000 still a huge growth there. Absolutely. This is a very cool one. This guy one of my became one of my best friends. In 2016, 1 to 12, 78000 And look what he did this year. <laughs> the year's not even over. He's going he's gonna to hit $315,000 in sales. Mind you, all these guys net – is very high because of the way they source. So he sold 10,000 products, over 10,000 products, $30 average sale uh, mm. per order. That's really good. Um, so that's just amazing. That, that makes me smile, makes me, makes it all worth this. It totally These are does. mom and dad's coming home. Yep. These are so many uh, people have came home with their jobs, financial freedom. Look, what is this worth to you? I mean, if yep. you could come home, I mean, almost with, to a certain, I don't know if I could say it's a hundred percent going to happen, but if you implement what I, what I teach, I think it's almost a given that you can do achieve whatever you want to achieve here. So absolutely. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my God. So perfect. This is a great story. Uh, this is, a uh, one of our, um, Ryan and I, she's became very good friends with us. She's one, definitely one of my best friends, her and the family. Um, and this is just, it's just, uh, she's went from 142,000 sales. She's going to hit uh, five, over 500,000 sales. She has like 300 pending orders and uh, her sales are just skyrocketing every day. Um, wow. This is just an amazing story. She has six kids <laughs> and her husband was a teacher. Yep. And her husband got to come home in October yep. because she was doing so well. <laughs> and now her business has just exploded, uh, which she gave um, her story will just bring kind of you know a tear to your eye. How she met us, how she found us. It was just, it was just amazing. <laughs> if she awesome. can do it, anyone can do it. Six I know. Kids. So what's that? Actually, she triple, she's going to owe more than triple her. Four hundred. 400% growth. And she has taken reverse sourcing to the next level. I mean, the way she does it, she does it with everything. Like I said, hundred percent of the products probably she checks. She's doing, doing the whole, the whole method. Yeah. So Danny, let's it's say that she was working. making 25% last year and then making another 25% this year in profit. I mean, what's that? It's about $300,000 difference, right? Mm -hmm. And so 25% of 300, what's uh like, is that 65? Is that $75,000? Yes. $75,000 in added revenue, profit, and added pure profit. That's if she's only doing 25%. Um, I know she's doing much higher than that. <laughs> so let's just pretend it's 25% to be conservative. And at yes, $75,000 more in pure profit this year because of being in this group. It's wow. just amazing. Yeah. Wow. So she, she brought her husband home. Yeah, and that's really that's honestly, you know what? The money's great, but it's because it's what that enabled her enabled their family to do. And yeah. I know who this is, and oh my gosh, yeah, it does. It it's just it, it when it I think you know, yeah. <laughs> we think back to us creating the Legends Group last year on a webinar, just on a whim. Like, hey, I have a, we have an idea, guys. What about doing this? And 
and people are like, yes, do it. And then she being one that gets in there and has this result with her family and their, her kids get to be with their, their dad now because he doesn't have to go to, go to school and teach. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. These, these are just ordinary people. It's not like, uh, I love it. Six kids. We have a, uh, a lot of people in the group have many kids, you know, so they balance and I have two daughters and we take them with us and we shop a lot of times. Yep. You just find that balance and you, you make it work. Yeah. Yep. And guys, this was all because of just, I mean, it, the big thing is, I mean, obviously they took it, took action on what Danny teaches, but mm -hmm. the biggest thing was just the interaction, the, um, having like-minded people. Uh, this legends group is like a, a support group for Amazon sellers. It really is. And so that's the mm -hmm. biggest thing out of this that I would take away is that it's, a uh, down here, caring and loving family, like community. Um, people literally care. And we got a great question. Somebody asked, do you have to be a Christian to be in this group? Absolutely not. Um, no, that's not uh, a prerequisite. Ab and <laughs> we, we just have a family like atmosphere. We'll take anybody and everybody. We don't, we don't care. Um, it just, it has turned into a family. Um, and, uh, and so we want anybody that wants to be part of a family and that uh, wants to take their business to the next level. But guys, here's what's included right here. All these, just a reminder, the daily OA finds the RA finds weekly, the VA course, the Amazon sold out extension, hours and hours and hours of content, the prep discounts, the brick seat tracker, the live RA videos that Danny's going to do, uh, go into stores and do live sourcing. More webinars will be coming all the time. Get your stuff in Amazon Canada. That's awesome. The bundling tool, the live conferences that we do, which are really, really, really cheap. Uh, we keep mm -hmm. it, we just broke even on the last one. So we kept it cheap for that reason. We want to be able to have people come. Uh, the WhatsApp chats and the Facebook group, that's where the relationships are formed, guys. The Legends app yeah. that Danny created that allows you to um, source or allows you to uh, manage all the fines that you get and source it or have and organize it by store. So you're going into Walmart, you know, hey, these are the things that I need to be looking for from there. We have uh, Grace in our group who's a China sourcing agent. New extensions coming out in January. The account management tool coming out. And of course, the community um, that's there. And there's things that Danny left out too so <laughs> yes guys a lot of stuff i left out <laughs> yeah so what's what's next there what do you got after this so, so join us yes it's a very 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 small window of opportunity um uh you know the spots are going to be very limited we keep the small the small community for a reason because the culture i can give you guys my fullest attention when i'm when it's small Look, you have nothing to lose. What are you gonna What are you gonna risk? Not making more in sales, not building new relationships or friendships. And look, all that stuff is only one hundred ninety seven dollars a month. If you, I'm not one of those people going to take and try to put a price tag on everything. But as you have seen, it's priceless. I mean, the relationships are priceless. The tools obviously might have some price tag on it. The content. Imagine if you just do a fraction of what you've seen, that's to pe people in this group that's just apps that are in this group. It's just a steal, an absolute bargain. The $197 a month, it just is nothing. So um, it's just okay, amazing. It's I mean, a month-to-month really -month thing. There's no, there's no um, you're not like signing your life away or anything like this. Not signing your life away. No, no, we don't <laughs> make you sign a contract. No lawyer involved. You got get in and decide it's not for you. Of course, you you uh, you can get out. Um, you're not signing a contract or anything like that. But um, there there's also an option in there to pay for a whole year up front uh, and get um, access to the conferences for free for you and a guest. Uh, so that's a cool thing we've uh, which is also a discount. Um, guys, it's uh, amdlegends.com. Um, I posted it in the chat. So um, if you don't have your chat open, just go to right here. Ganny, can you put your cursor go around like circle around amzlegends.com there oh yeah, yeah. i'm sorry right here. yeah so guys amzlegends.com is where you go and i posted in the chat is where you can just click on the link in the chat but um we'd love to have you join us um we're doing a just so you guys know we're doing a webinar uh for jim cockrum's group and then my silent team group tomorrow uh and so he's promoting this as well and so these spots are going to fill up quickly so if you want to get in do not wait um, yeah, you know how big Jim's audience is. <laughs> you know, it's going to put a lot of pressure on what limited space we have, and then we're talking limited. 
because it stays small for a reason. So it's kind of an elite exclusive group and uh, it only becomes available. Uh, probably next year is going to be very hard. There will be a waiting list to get in. And, um, you know, it's just going to be, you don't, it's, you know, you just have to, to see it, to believe it, I guess. I don't, you know, some of you may say, man, that sounds like a lot, but I mean, if you add up all that stuff and all the benefits of sales, you will, will achieve. If you do what I uh, suggest as far as sourcing, then uh, it's going to be unbelievable what will happen to you and your business. It'll change your life. It's been life changing for so many. So we just ask you at this 2018, maybe you take some action, go to AMZ legends, you know, um, check it out. Um, you know, really put some thought into joining, talk it over with your wife or your husband or your significant other, whoever, if you need to. Um, like I said, it's going to be, it's going to be open and closed pretty quick here. So especially after tomorrow, this is, Tomorrow's going to be a much bigger audience seeing this. Yep. And um, uh, hopefully it doesn't fill up before the end of the webinar. So, but, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Once we start going through all the perks, you know, and look, those perks are only going to grow. That's only one year's worth of perks that I've added. Imagine what I'm going to do next year. So, uh, I already have so many things in mind. It's just going to absolutely blow you away. Okay, so I want to answer a couple of questions just by text here. But Danny, if you could, um, uh, Roseanne asked earlier about uh, problem scanning clothing without the UPC. I was going to yes. answer by text, but um, I know you have a better answer. Clothing is tough because a lot of the UPC codes do not scan. Same with shoes. Um, and clothing, there is so much clothing. So much of it is not even listed. Right. So um, as far as clothing goes, you can type it in It's best with clothing to start with, okay, here's a brand. Let's start with the brand. Let's say it's a uh, Reba McIntyre mm -hmm. and you type that in and you can see it. Is there even any Reba McIntyre stuff for sale and how well is it selling? Start there first. And that's a good, good way to start. Don't just start by scanning a bunch of this one brand at Ross store or TJ Maxx. And you go, gosh, that really didn't pan out. Why don't you just type in the brand and know, is this even worth checking out? That's good. Sorry, I'm just answering a question. Somebody asked about the DFW meetings. Um, so uh, from the China sourcing agent, guys. So, um, she uh, she is part of the Legends group. Yes. And yes. no, not <laughs> only people in the Legends group can have access to to her right now. So what is the cost? It varies. Um, I know. For her to go and source something, you order it and get it shipped to the U.S. and for pre in a consultation and to go get you at least three to six suppliers from manufacturers, mind you. You know how many people buy from a middleman on uh, Alibaba through China? That her finding you a manufacturer of a product is well worth it. But she only charges, I think it's between four four fifty somewhere in there. That's a full service white glove service. Uh, you have a business with three partners. Can be they be included? Yeah, uh, typically, answer. in the past, we've included spouses and business partners. Yes. Yeah, so it should be okay. That we we might. I don't know if everybody had three. That'd be an issue. But yeah, uh, we may have to limit it to maybe just one. Yeah, we'll talk. You can you can contact yeah. us privately on that one, and we'll. Yeah, it's that kind of a case by that. case thing there. Yeah, but yeah, typically, guys, we've allowed a, a spouse and business partner, a spouse and or business partner, to come in um at no 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 additional charge so cool guys any other questions i know this is um added cost for her he just said it would do wouldn't it you say did you tell grace yes yeah, like 400 to 450 somewhere in there yeah but that's um i had her source some stuff for me from china uh -huh. and i was getting ready to pull the trigger on something i found through what i thought was a manufacturer on alibaba i found out was a middleman <laughs> Uh, we ordered it from the manufacturer and uh, the price difference was just eye popping. So it paid for itself there. Yes, we have a, yes, we have a start here post in Facebook. So that's exactly where you would start Mike. Yeah. If you have a VA, uh, have her log in under Mike. I'm not sure. Are you talking about um, 
log into like your WhatsApp and your Facebook, stuff like that. Is that what you're talking about? Or I'm not sure. But if, if that's the case, that's that's up to you. Um, yeah, yeah that's Josie. Right. Josie's a friend of mine. Thanks for being on, Josie. Appreciate it. Um, yes, if you have a VA, we'll, you can add your VA into the into the group. I uh, wonder why you don't accept Verizon email addresses. I don't know, Steph, that's probably just our payment system issue. Um, that's weird. Um, we could still get you in though. So um, con you can email me, ryan at ryanrieger.com if there's problems, but um, that would be an issue with the with PayPal or something. Um, Susie, yes, yeah, you get access to everything as soon as you um, are in the group, yep. As soon as you make payment and they're in the group, that's correct. So you get like uh, 11 days free. That's true because we're, yeah, I guess kind of, well, yeah, it's, I guess that's if we're, if you're counting it that we're starting like on January one, yeah, it's kind of, if we're starting fresh. So cool guys. Any other questions? Otherwise we can um, let Danny go and he's got another one of these to do tomorrow night. So yeah, definitely yeah, come, come find me, come find the group. Come and join us. It's uh, we will invite you with open arms and that's right. Bring you into the fold, this exclusive group, and uh, what it, what has become kind of an elite group of people, of sellers. It doesn't matter if you're a, a beginner. Um, it doesn't matter where you are in your business. Um, there's so many people that started from nothing, and now they have built like a small selling empire. I guess you could call it. <laughs> but uh, it's been. I don't know. It's been been a pretty amazing experience. It has. So. It's been fun. Been fun seeing people's lives changed. Um, Roy, we. I mean, RA is a big focus, but yeah, we definitely talk about wholesale too. Yeah, well, there's a wholesale with a twist, Roy, and I did a whole webinar on wholesale. It's not like it's not your it's not your uh, it's not your mom's wholesale. Your typical <laughs> wholesale. This is a wholesale in a whole new way. So, uh, oh, oh, Danny, real quick, I, uh, KL asked about, and, um, I, I accidentally, uh, archived it, but are Sam's and Costco good places to get multi-pack ideas? I have a Sam's club in Marion. Mm -hmm. Uh, they, they actually have a lot of, uh, multi-packs that you can just break apart and sell the items individually, but you can definitely get a lot of good multi-pack ideas. You could, sometimes you can just sell the multi-pack profitably. Um, mm -hmm. remember use the, use the strategies and tactics I just showed you. It doesn't always work hundred percent of the time, but you have to keep practicing them yep. and, uh, keep implementing them. And then you'll, you just get this built in intuition about what works and will not work. You get that, uh, retail arbitrage matrix more or less. Cool. Mike, that's awesome to hear. Um, Mike said this is by far the best content he's ever seen in this space. Wow. It's only going to get probably twice as good at yeah. the same price next year. That's true. Uh, <laughs> Just waiting until you see what's about to come. It's Liz, be... yeah. So will I lead the PL training in the group? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'll, I'll answer any questions you guys have about private label. We'll do webinars about private label if you want. I'm um, I'm not as active in the group as Danny is. I kind of, this has become turned into kind of his baby and he's the, the main leader of it. We do work together. I'm more behind the scenes, but um, I try to help them out as much as I possibly can. Um, in, in addition with the private label group that I have, but yes, I actually, I love talking about private label in the legends group. So feel free to ask me questions in legends about private label for sure. Um, hey, Heidi, I see your question about the OA list. Good question. What we do is we separate people into subgroups for the sharing deals and where the OA deals will be posted. We're not going to share those to 300 people because that's just not a good idea, as you know. Uh, so we separate you into smaller groups. Now, what we tell you and we, we preach is with the retail arbitrage and online arbitrage finds is use that as a starting point. You don't necessarily just buy that item outright unless it's just a red hot item. We're, what we're doing is we're telling you, or my VA is telling you, hint, hint, you know, over here, look over here. Uh, look over here at this hot topic category. Uh, look over here at uh, Think Geek in this category. And uh, one of our resident, and we have another person who's just amazing with tactical arbitrage in the group. She's in there all the time. She's She has six kids too, and she manages to be there 
uh, all the time and help people out. She posts stuff and every time she's posting stuff, she's giving you clues and saying, look, check this out. Cause she's a, uh, she knows how to, she's mastered tactical arbitrage. And uh, she also mixes in reverse sourcing with it on top of that. And it's become a lethal combination because tactical arbitrage does not find the listings that we're talking about here because it's UPC and title match driven. Uh -huh. So it has a lot of mismatches. So she's taken it to the next level. She used tactical arbitrage to find leads and then she goes about sourcing them on her phone or seller app to find more leads. And so when she posts stuff, it's telling you, hey, look over here yeah. and uh, don't necessarily buy this item outright. You can, especially during Q4, but uh, yeah, it's a good question. But we do subdivide you into smaller groups, but the general conversation will be with uh, people in the Q&A group, uh, all the uh, the back and forth conversation stays there. That way the deals group stay pure to what they are. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great question. Cool. Heidi. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. So um, guys, we will keep in touch with you on where we are in numbers because this, this will fill up. And so um, we'll send you all the replay uh, so that you can watch this again. Um, but uh, don't wait. If you feel like this is a fit for your business and if it's not right now, that's totally cool um we'll build a waiting list of folks and then uh, if folks drop off we'll be hey we got it we got a swat left or whatever um mm -hmm. so i'm trying to go looking yeah, forward to seeing all of you uh, people that signed up in may i love meeting people in person yep. so um <laughs> Danny Roy asked about how does this group intermingle with other other groups like private label box or the proven audience formula how do we know which way to go it's hard to do all Roy, great question. I'll, I'll give my take and maybe Danny wants to chime in. Um, don't yeah. do it all. Do not do it all. Uh, figure out where your focus needs to be and focus yeah. there. Um, if private label is your thing and you just want to go all in on that, get into my private label group and do that um, and just focus there. If you're if the proven audience formula, if you're in that certification class and that's really where you feel like you need to be focusing on, man, stay there and do that. Um I would tell you not to get into the legends group if you feel like you're so scattered because um, it's focus is so important. I'm learning that if I don't focus, I got 5 million things going on and I do none, none of them well. And so um, really sit down and think, what do you enjoy doing? What, what is the, what's the part of the business? Do you like doing, do you like RA? Do you hate RA? Do you enjoy the private label thing? Do you not like that? Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, and just figure out which, which, piece of which product is going to help you get to your goals um the legends group is like a support group um will help you through pretty much anything and everything amazon um there is it's the core of it is retail arbitrage right now but as danny said we're growing as the people grow and so as we get people who are like hey i'm ready to move into wholesale and private label well we grow with them and provide that content as well um the private label group that i have is solely private label nothing but private label so it just really depends on where you are right now, but please don't just join this just to have another, be in another group. Um, you really need to know that this is for you um, and everybody else. We want you to, this to be, uh, this is a family and, and uh, it's, it's different than any other group you've ever been a part of. Um, but yeah, if you feel like checking it out and you decide it's not for you, that's totally cool. But um, do not join this just to have another thing. Um, Cause there's, there's so many good yeah. things out there, but you got to focus. The last conference, we had a presentation that was called the shiny object syndrome Yes. and how entrepreneurs are adversely affected by that because we're highly motivated. So we want to go and take care of every course and conquer it. I, I love when I came out of CES when I was there, I was completely overwhelmed. And um, but the, the people have when you talk to the people that have very strong businesses, uh, businesses that are sustainable, making good money, hiring people. They focus on one thing at a time. I am a I am one of those people that's an above all approach. Do everything, but make sure you automate those things one at a time. Mm -hmm. Starting with arbitrage. That that for me, I've had shoppers. Uh, obviously, I have a prep center, so all that's automated. So I drop off stuff there, or my shoppers do, and uh, then move on to the next thing. Wholesale. The way we do wholesale, work direct with the manufacturer. They ship it in. Uh, directly to Amazon for you, automated, boom, done. Just all you have to do is reorder or VA reorder. Take all those courses and I'll preach this up and down, left and right. 
boards backwards <laughs> is get a virtual assistant, get a VA. And by gosh, you're going to get one if you're in this group. All right, I'm going to make you go out of your comfort zone because you need to get one or two or three or four or five or six yeah. or seven like I do. And uh, take them. And if there's a neat course you want to be good at, you don't need to be the master at proven audience formula. Just give the course to a VA. Let them learn how to do it and implement it. Shopify, I know uh, when I started Shopify, I knew nothing about it. I hired a VA to do it all for me. Everything from setting up the store to the promotions on Facebook. And that has resulted in sales. So I started a new um, revenue stream through that. So you don't need to be the master at everything. Uh, you just need to know how to manage it and uh, manage the money. And then take, take the funds you make from your first venture, you automate a bolt on your second one, your third, fourth, fifth, and take those monies and roll it into your new adventures. That's the yeah. best advice I can give you. Mm. And that's what I'll preach to you in here. Don't get distracted by it. There's going to be a lot of distractions in this group. <laughs> Probably a lot of things going on. And it looks like I'm running around with a chicken with his head cut off, you know, half the time. <laughs> but trust right. me, there's, a, there's a method to my madness. Right. So exactly. here and then. You know, and I have a bunch of VAs working in the background. That's why I do what I do. I'm not a robot, like some people say. So, uh, Jamie, is there a minimum needed for wholesale? So most companies do have a wholesale and usually have a minimum. Uh, sometimes it's low as one case, which if let's say the item is, uh, you know, $10 and a case of them would be maybe 12. So that's $120. So if the item is five bucks, it's a $60 price. Um, but so it's very low to get easy, very easy to get into wholesale. Yes. Steph, the, uh, the course helps you automate your online arbitrage with a VA. And yes, that is included. So with retail arbitrage, once you master it, the only thing you can really do is teach somebody locally. Maybe it's a relative or a family member, someone you trust, and teach them how to do our retail arbitrage. The guys in the, that work on our warehouse have taught them everything I know for the most part so they know. So. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's what it's for. I mean, you should see it. Excel sheets. Um, they have to fill out these Excel sheets. It has to pass all these criteria. It's just amazing how in-depth and, and uh, detailed the whole thing is. So. Cool. I know Ryan and I got to get in the group and uh, kind of uh, jumble some things around and kind of put those in places where they're easily found. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do that, sir. Um, uh, Sheila. Hey, I'm Sheila. Like, yes, yeah, Sheila. Go ahead and read that off to everybody. It says, I'm currently a member of Amazon Legends. I highly recommend it. My numbers were 54K on the screen. That was after being in Amazon Legends for just four months. Prior to that, I had 44K in six months. So I increased my number over 100% less time. So that's even better than what I said. Wow. So, okay, that's uh, Sheila. Is, Sheila is just a. Uh, it's got a servant's heart and she'll be in the group <laughs> waiting to meet you. So there's so many people just like her and uh, they're amazing people. Got to meet wow. Sheila at the last conference. Yeah. A wonderful, wonderful person. <laughs> oh, cool. Guys, if there's no other questions, I'll let Danny go. Um, you can feel free to email me Ryan at Ryan .com with any questions. Hey, Jimmy's on here <laughs> last year. Jimmy, last year, my wife and I did 75,000 sales. We started in July and are over 200,000 this year, 30% profit margin. 30 plus wow. percent, wow. That's huge. So that's a 30%, 30 percent. Um, I think what he's talking about is your net, which is, that's huge, people. That's that's about ideal. Um, that's about ideal where you want to be. Yeah, and we got to meet Jimmy and Brittany and- uh, The net, that's crazy. That's now, awesome, Jimmy. Back in October. <laughs> So, oh, and uh, Jimmy, tell Brittany we're going to do that uh, that couponing uh, webinar. <laughs> yes, couponing. Oh, my goodness. I forgot. Look, we got so many things going on. Yeah. Tell her to get it's ready just, for that, man. We got a bunch of new people coming in. They're going to be wanting to hear her couponing methods. Yeah, look forward to that. <laughs> I, I used to be a huge couponer. I know that sounds weird, but the guy yeah. did a bunch of couponing, but I used to do it. Cool. She's been writing her book, too. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I look forward to that. I really do. Yeah. I do have a passion for couponing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You can save even more money that way and put more money. In your pocket. Does coupon. <laughs> so, 
Cool. All right, guys, let's cut it off there. Um, thanks so much for being on. It's been on a really long time, but we want to make sure we answered all your questions. Um, and uh, feel free to email me if you have additional questions. And if uh, you want to watch this again, we're going to be doing this for the My Silent Team group tomorrow night, going live the exact same time, 8 p.m. Eastern, in the My Silent Team Facebook group. So if you go to that group mm -hmm. around, right around 8 p.m., you'll see it'll say pop up. You know, it'll say Ryan Rieger is live. Um, and it'll be this okay. exact same presentation. Uh, so if you kind of want to get here again, um, you can, you can get it, uh, you can listen to it again that way. So cool. Hopefully not all the spots are be filled by then though. <laughs> want to be, want to yeah. get <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, sorry, on. Jim, we're filled up. Yeah. That's right. Also filled up. We can't do the webinar. So yeah. any, any parting <laughs> thoughts? Uh, just, just take action, whatever it is you decide to do. Yep. I agree. Yep. Thanks guys for being on. If we don't talk to you, Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Um, we'll Merry Christmas. Yeah. Chat with you later. All right. See you guys. All right, bye.